Hello friends, in the previous series I showed how we walked uh, for two days uh, through the zone, showed an abandoned anti-aircraft missile unit and unfinished cooling towers that are located on the island of the third stage of the construction of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. We looked at the cooling towers, we are going to the 5 power unit. This is the most interesting place of this island and the zone as a whole. The active business and zone workers on the island and since the island itself is small, we need to be very careful not to catch the eye of anyone. Directly on the course of the uh, current metal depot. And now we will think about how to get around it. Today is Sunday and there shouldn't be any workers, uh, but it's better not to risk it. This island is a real dump of scrap metal and other objects. There is some kind of camera on the tower, but unfortunately there is no zoom on the GoPro, so you can zoom in and see. Unfortunately on this trip I forgot my second uh, Sony camera, uh, which has a good zoom. Uh, with its help I could take a closer uh, look um, at uh, the tower and uh, take uh, some better quality shots. The Eagle and I are surprised how much building material is left here after the accident. That is why in such places you need to look under your feet. Good shoes saved me in this situation. We found a safe pass, we are moving towards the 5 power unit. We never understood whether there were cameras on tower or not, and if there were, uh, where did they look and did they notice us? I hope they didn't notice us. You can already see the arch of the force power unit. And we are still looking for a way to the 5 power unit. The closer we get, the more dangerous it becomes. There is another tower in the distance. Kagarin says that cameras could uh, have been installed after the fires. Or maybe I am just making it more secure. Wolf or dog strikes. Big crane.
This building house is the uh, lair of marauders who take radioactive metal out of the zone. We decided not to risk and not go there, fearing that someone uh, might be there. We were there on Sunday and uh, apparently there were no, no workers uh, or looters that day. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we tried uh, not, to, ta not um, to take risk once again, because uh, if the police uh, catch us, uh, then our trip uh, will end and we will not see many places uh, that we want uh, to see on the street. Some large building not reaching uh, the 5 power unit. At the time we had little information and at first we thought that this was the building of the 6 power unit. There is a dead end, let's try to climb here. Carefully. Judging by the state of this place, they dined here even during the construction of this building. This dish is made in the USSR. Hermetic Drew. I said uh, that this looks like the 6 power unit, uh, although voicing uh, it behind the scenes, I know that it's not. In fact, uh, this is an unfinished uh, nuclear waste storage facility. We are still debating uh, what it could be. And here is the 5 power unit. Now let's look for the entrance. We decided to make a halt before the study. I suggested inside to be uh, safer, but the guys assured me uh, that uh, no one uh, would see us here. Radiation background is slightly increased.
Please give me more light. Someone smoke dope here. Need to find a ladder to the top. Look, there's a ladder. The eagle went to see what was upstairs so that everyone would not go. If you fall from such a height, you may not survive. This will not be shown to you on an official tour. I was on an official tour and I didn't like it. That's why I am here illegally now.
below is a huge room. This is the scale, of course. Wow, what is this place? Look, what a deep hole. Shine in the hole, please. She is very deep. Guys, give maximum light, please. We are discussing uh, what kind of room it is. We were in the hall where so so called reactor roots were supposed uh, to be located. This is uh, what this room uh, would have looked like if the reactor had been completed. The five power unit is uh, perhaps the most traumatic place in the zone. Uh, you uh, yourself have seen how many dangerous places where you can fall. Uh, and the uh, ambulance uh, will go uh, there for a very long time. This is one of the reasons why there are no official tours. And here is a window overlooking the force power unit. Oh, this is the view, this is the view. Somewhere there is a reactor and uh, over there is a ladder. You can try to climb uh, onto the roof. It is very dangerous to climb this ladder. I propose to abandon this idea. This view is exactly what it was worth going here for. The guys again noticed uh, what looked like cameras when we were at the window. So let's get out of here as soon as possible. Everyone agrees that we need to get away from here as soon as possible, because if we got on cameras, then the police may soon come here. Unfortunately, we have seen uh, only about 10% of the 5 power unit. Uh, to be honest, uh, we were a little afraid uh, that uh, we could uh, get uh, on the cameras and decided not to risk the a whole hike, uh, but uh, we will return uh, there is in the future. Beaver, what did you say? The beaver offers to move to secluded place and make a halt. There doesn't seem to be an ambush. Interestingly, when we were inside the 5 power unit, the radiation there practically did not exceed the norm. 
despite the fact uh, that the same false uh, power unit is a kilometer away. Now our task is to get away from the five power unit and take a break in a secluded place. After that we will need to return to the place where we left our backpacks and wait until it gets dark to go uh, towards Pripyat. We still have a problem with water. We have very little of it left and we will try to collect in the cooling pond. If we don't find water now, we won't be able to make tea of dime before Pripyat. Guys, how are your impressions, Gagarin? Monumental. I came here for this. The beaver is very happy and like all the guys. This place made an incredible impression on everyone. In fact, we were inside the same nuclear power plant that exploded, only this one was unfinished. This is one of the most interesting places in the Chernobyl zone, it in the future we will return there to explore in better 